Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is uh, October 2018. 42 variant question number two. Topic is statistics, all level. So listen to me carefully. First of all, um, there are 120 students. 120 students are there to, com uh, to complete a cooking challenge. You can see. Okay, so the top uh, is, is called times. How many times the meal taking minutes? And frequency means um, how many students are finishing the time? Write down the modal time interval. Modal means uh, like 44 students coming in this section. 32 students are coming in this section. So four students come in this section. Highest number of students are coming in which section wind out? So 44. So it means this group repeats the maximum time. So this answer, we should write it here. 25, write it here and 20, write it down here. So this is our answer. I believe this part is nothing, nothing hard. So let's go for next part. Next part, write down the interval containing the median time. Formula we use normally N plus one divided by two, okay? And N is a total frequency. All right, and uh, 120 plus one divided by two, I get a 60.5. So I can say 60th term and 61st term are middle terms. Okay, these two are middle terms. So 44, so 44 student in this section. And if I add 32, look, look I'm adding, I'm showing you. So it means the six and 76. It means both numbers are coming in this section. How I know? Because 44 students are in this section, with 45 student number is here, 46 student number is here, 47 number here, even both students are coming in this section. Reason, because last number is 76. If you add these two groups people, so it gives you 76 people total. So it means very clear, clear we have, so this group is our again answer. The median interval is 25 is here and 30 we should write here. So I believe you got a point and why I wrote it. Okay, let's talk about that because one mark, if you don't, this show is working, no problem, but better show this working in normal situations. Come back, how to get a mean? So with this kind of question, we make a two columns, okay? I'm going to make it both columns here. I, I believe inshallah you will understand. So two columns, if this call, this table is not a compulsory, but it make it good for you. So uh, how many columns? One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, then two, then three, four, five, and six. Okay. So first column name is called mid class. Mid class. Represent by X. And the top frequency representing small f. And here I will make it fx. I mean this f and this x will multiply. So how to find mid-class students is like an average of two numbers. Look, I'm finding below. So 20 plus 25 divided by 2, and I get 22.5. Repeat, 25 and 30 find average. 25 plus 30 divided by 2, I got 27.5. What about this? So 30 plus 35 and divided by two, I got 32.5. What about this? I'm writing directly this time, 37.5. What about this? So hold on, I think I make an extra column. So five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this table is extra. Anyway, I erase extra part. So this is very, very clear what I am saying till now. Okay, so now let's try to complete it. And what is this column? So it's average of them, 40 plus 45 divided by 2. I got 42.5. Okay, now I'm going to uh, solve it further part. And what is this Fx? So multiplying common sense, F is here, X is there. So this 44 and this number multiply. One time, I'm okay, I'm doing multiplying directly. 44 times 2, 22.5. And when I multiply, what answer? 44 into 22.5. It is giving me 990, 990. Next, I'm not wasting my time. This time to this, if I multiply them, 32 times to 27.5, it is giving me 880. Okay, now next one, uh, this value F, and this is X. I'm going to multiply 28 times to 32.5. 
and I'm getting 910. And this 12 multiplied with this number. So 12 times 2, 37.5. I believe you student doing parallel with me and you are getting the points clear. Okay, this is F and this is X. Multiply them. 4 times 2, 42.5. And I'm getting 170. And we have a special mean formula. And mean formula is what? Sigma Fx divided by Sigma F. And Sigma means sum. Okay, some of the values of this title name. So all these values will come in the numerator and this frequency here, all these values, some will come in denominator, which is understood the sum of values is 120. So I will not waste my time in writing uh, the denominator. So yes, these values, I must write it here. So 990 plus 880 plus 910 plus 450 and plus 1570. And if I add them, 990 plus 880 plus 910 plus 450 plus 170. It is giving me the numerator 3400 by 120. And if I divide it, I get 28.3. And this is my final answer. And I believe you got a point very clear. So this is, not, this is a question we have. A student is chosen at random. Uh, what is the probability concept? So probability concept is that what is a favor? The favor, the, the student we a favor? Okay. We write up and total students I will write down. Okay. So what is saying? A student take more than 40 minutes. More than 40 minutes. Repeat. More than 40 minutes. How many students take more than 40 minutes? They are four students only those who take more than 40 minutes. So this four is a favor and 120 is a total. And I believe is easy. So I'm writing here four over 120 and uh, four three, the one over one by 30 is my our answer. Now, very interesting part is going to come how to do cumulative frequency questions, okay? So basically, uh, they, look at here, I'm going to show you this 20 he wrote here, this 25, this 25 he wrote here. Okay, so let's start. First number, what he normally does, this uh, he copies zero and this zero add in 44, he writes here down. I repeat, this 44 add in this, I will copy here. So if I add 44, I repeat, 44 add in 32. So I'm going to add 44 in 32. Look, I'm adding 44, 32. So it's becoming 76. Now this 76 add in 28. So it's 76 add in 28. I got a 14 one carry. So 8 104. So 104. This 104 adding in in adding in 12. Okay. So 104 adding in 12. I'm getting 116. 116 adding in 4. So I'm writing down here. And if you're adding in 4 here, I get 120 which is matching with what? Matching with this number. So it means we have done correct. And let me erase the extra writings, which is not required here. So I believe if you're not understanding, I repeat again. I repeat again, this zero, you always write, add in 44 and copy it here. Then this 44, add in 32 and copy it here. Then this 76, add in this and copy here. 104, add in it and copy here. And 116, add in this and copy here. Okay. I hope so. The point is very, very clear. Okay. So let's talk about the next part. <clears throat> so next part is the table. Okay. This table is drawn. I'm going to show this table. Okay. So uh, wait a minute. 0 and 44 here. This is 20. This is a 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45. Okay, so this table I'm going to pick from here and I use on next page. So I take from here, copy, and I paste here. So some reason is here, I need this one. So let, let's start now and uh, have a look now carefully. So let's see how we can do this kind of question. This is actually the classes and down is a CF. Okay, here classes, remember? So class will come along X axis, but I repeat my words. So this classes will come along x-axis. This CF, you can see the written word. 
cumulative frequency is coming y axis so uh, so i i think you can understand it now so this values i will take along y axis and these values i will take along x axis so let's start 20 along x axis is here and y is zero here so this point is so visible i'm writing across here second point so this 25 i get it from here and 45 okay before I start, very interesting point to come. You know, I taught a formula, value divided by number of boxes. Number of boxes. What is this value, student 10? I'm copying. How many boxes count? One, two, three, four, five boxes. So five boxes I'm writing down. It means two. It means along Y axis, one box is equals to two. I think you got the basic criteria. I repeat again, this 10 I'm copying from here. And number of boxes for 0 to 10 is 5 boxes. And I got 2. So 1 box is equal to 2. And looking for 44. Where's the 44? This is a 40. You can find it easily. 1 box up is 42. 1 box again up 44. So this number is 44. And I believe you're understanding. And this number is 25. So from X axis, this is 25. And from Y axis, 44. Look, I'm going to make a line. This line and this line. Where the meet students, they meet at this point. And this point, I will, I will label as a one cross. Look, student, I'm labeling it. A small cross. And I will erase the lines. And wait a minute, let me erase again, again. Okay. And I believe you now you got a clear picture. Okay, students. So this cross is taken. Now let's talk about third point. 30 will take along X axis. It is a very clear where is the 30 along X axis. Now 76 along Y axis. But you know, one box is two. This is 70. One box up is 72. So one box up 74. One box up 76. So this number is 76. And I believe you're getting the point. So I will make this line 76. All right. And I'm, I will make 30 from here. Okay. Sorry for that. This has just slightly moved. Uh, now, once again, I move. Look, I'm moving here. If you see that they're cutting at this point. So I make a cross at this point. And let me erase both lines. So I think you understood how I got the point. Let's talk about the next point. 35 along x-axis and 104 along y-axis. 104, I repeat 104. Here we have 100 because one, I know one box is 2. So one box up is 102, two box up is 104. And I just label it so you can see this is 104 from here and 35 from here. So where the meet, let's try to find out. This is the line. You can use your scale. Use you can you can use your scale. I am using my tool. So I'm using my tool. You can use your scale to get it. And I believe there's nothing hard. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Let's talk about second last number. 40 along x-axis, 116 along y-axis. But here is 116. This is a 110. One box up is 112 one box up 114 one box up 116 so this number is 116 i believe you're understanding 116 come from y-axis and 40 along y-axis okay, x-axis sorry so let's try to make it this line coming from here and this line of 40 is coming from here and where they meet they meet at this point Okay, let me make a small cross here. Hold on. Yes. And now I'm erasing both lines. Last point, student, 45 along x-axis and 120 along y-axis. So easy point, this one. So I think idea is clear. Now, don't use scale. I have seen some student try to use scale like that. This way. Total wrong. Don't use scale. Use freehand. And freehand is I'm going to show you. Look the way. And uh, <clears throat> look at the student first of all. So, uh, you know, normally this kind of graph we have. I repeat, this kind of smooth graph we have normally. So it's a smooth, gradually bending. So let's start. So look, student, this. 
this joining this join you can remove your pencil up and again draw so don't think so we will make it one attempt only no you can do many attempts no problem at all so let's move on next next point i believe you're understanding now go for focus on sorry sorry one minute there is some difficulty here hold on yeah slightly okay no problem Okay, and I believe the good border point very clear. Now, student, let's go for the formulas. So median, okay. So median, what is method to find out the median? So median formula we have here, <clears throat> half times two. So half times two, what is the formula we have? Formula is half times two total frequency. I repeat my words, total frequency. Half times two total frequency. So half times two total frequency. So the idea is very clear. Total frequency is what, student? You can see the top. So total frequency is this 120. I believe you can see clear the top, the 120. So half of the 120 is giving 60. Some student think that 60 is answer, wrong. 60 is not ever answer. 60 is a pointer. And wait, hold a minute, please. Hold a minute, hold a minute, please. So first of all, I show you. Now, question comes, where is a 60? 60 is here. And I will take my scale. You see now, students, I will take my scale and I will come on this one. I believe you're understanding what is going on. I will take a green color line and I make it this way. Where the meat, I will take a scale and come down. And I believe you're understanding why, what is going on. So go down, wait a minute, I make it again. This, remove a scale. This is my answer. But do you know, student, again, same criteria. So this is a, what the formula. I'm going to make it again here, formula. What is the formula value divided by number of boxes? Number of boxes. Okay, what is the value, student, is a 5. Why come 5, sir? Because 25 minus 20 is a 5. 5 is there. How many boxes? There are 10 boxes. So if I divide 10 boxes here, I get 1 to 0.5. It means one box is... 0 0.5 okay if you into two multiply into two so two boxes will give you one i believe you got my point i repeat my words again two uh, one box is 0 0.5 and two boxes is one so that is why if i ask you what is this number you count the boxes please uh one two three four five boxes so five times two 0 0.5 it will give you 2.5 i repeat uh, 25 is here, student. Look, I zoom. 25 here, 26, 26, 27, 28. This is 20. Uh, tw look, look, I repeat 26, 27, 28. But what is this middle number? 27.5. I believe you got my point. I repeat again. This is 27.5. 27.5. So I'm writing now here. Uh, L, uh, what is this called? Median. M E D is a shortcut writing, and 27.5 is my answer. And I'm writing here 27.5. So, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I think you got it. And fixed formula, please don't forget it. Forget the formula. Half times two, total frequency. Now, interquartile. Very interesting. I will find two quartiles. One is called upper UQ, stand for upper quartile. And one stand for LQ, stand for lower quartile. We have fixed formulas we have. Upper quartile is three-fourth of N plus one. And lower quartile is one-fourth of N plus one. This is a formula, okay? I repeat. And you say, what is N, sir? And it's called total frequency, which is 120. So let's try to solve it. So three-fourth of 120 plus one. And one minute, please. Let me calculate. If I calculate 121 into 3 divided by 4, divided by 4, when it divided by 4, my answer is coming. My answer is coming 90 point, uh, 90. Okay, wait a minute, please. Wait a minute, please. Do one favor. Don't, uh, don't put here n plus 1. Because whenever graph is given, we use always n. Okay? n plus 1 is also correct, not wrong. But in this way, we get uh, some issues. So three plus three by n into total frequency, TF, and one fourth of total frequency. I believe you got my point. 
and three fourth of a uh, hundred and twenty. When I check it, three four of one twenty, I'm getting sharp ninety. And same process here, one fourth of one twenty, I got sharp thirty. But do you think these are answers? No, wrong. These are not answers. Sorry. So <clears throat> let's go for ninety. Okay. So first of all, thirty. This thirty is here. This 30 is here. So let's find out the lower quartile. I will take my scale and I will join it. Look at students. I think understanding what is going on. And I will take, I will take here. Wait a minute. I will take this time blue line or red line. No problem. This red line. And I try uh, rotate my, my scale. This is the answer of lower quartile. LQ. LQ. And what is the number? This number is what? Let's count. So, uh, you know, sprint, two boxes, 21, this 21, 22, 23, 24, 23, 24. And what is the middle? 23.5. So, 23.5 is my lower quartile. So, LQ is 23.5. And I believe you got my point. Let's talk about, uh, sorry, this is a lower quartile. I should write not here. I should write it, uh, wait a minute. I should write it here. Hold on, students. <clears throat> wait a minute, please. I should write it here. Why, sir? Because lower quartile is this one. So let's talk about 90. Where is 90, students? 90 is here. I will take my scale and I'll join here. I believe you're understanding what is going on. And hold on. I will make a line. It meet the curve here. Then rotate the scale and you will get the other line. Student, this is a number. And remove the scale. This number is what? Fine. Two box is 31 and here 32. So 32 is upper quartile. UQ stands for upper quartile 32. And now students subtract upper quartile. What is interquartile formula? Interquartile formula, I'm writing it below here. IQ stands for inter. UQ stands for upper LQ stands for lower. Upper quartile is 23.5 and lower quartile is 32. Sorry, sorry, opposite, opposite, opposite. So I mean, uh, upper quartile is 32 and lower quartile is 23.5. If I subtract them, 32 minus 23.5, it is giving me 7, 8.5, sorry. Okay, hold on. There's a range of answer in the mark scheme. If you see, maybe your answers is starting from 8 till 9. All answers are correct. So don't worry about the, your answer. Sometimes you get a 9, sometimes 9.5 even. Okay, maybe the answer is from 7 to 10 all. Maybe, okay. It depends upon the uh, diagrams. Okay, let's talk about last part. Find out the number of students. So my question is from you. Where is number of students? Along x-axis, wrong. Along y-axis, true. So number of students always where? Along y-axis, make sure. So let's start, uh, find number of students, those who took 30, more than, what is statement? More than 37 minutes to complete the challenge. 37 minutes where? Let's find. So this is 36, two box 36, this is 37. So 37, I will do what student? I will take a scale and I will go on the curve. So look student, this is a 36. Look, 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 look. It's meeting here. If meeting here, I will rotate my scale and I'll go here. I believe you student you're understanding. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen. So this number, remove a scale. So my question from you, what is this number came? 110. And what is the highest? Because he said uh, more than. More than means starting from 37 till 45. I need these values. I repeat, 37 starting, ending where? 45. So 45. I will take a, a line from 45, meet here, and reach here. And student, you got two numbers. Two numbers you got. This is my answer. I repeat. I repeat. This is a 37 line meeting 110. This is a 45 line meeting 120. And gap of them is are coming 10 to dense. So my answer is 120 minus 110. So there are 10 students, those finish their task more than 37 minutes. I repeat again, I repeat again. So he said 37 more. Where is 37 student? 37 is here. Till how much? Till how much? Till 45. 
he said more than 37 minutes so it means starting from 37 37 and 37 38 39 40 till 45 this is my task so what i have done here this number 37 region curve note on the number from 45 region curve note on the number and subtract these two numbers i believe you got some idea alhamdulillah hey rabbil alamin and question is completely completely over.